day for you. The other day I was biking home and I passed it on the road and I was like, wait a second, I need to go back for this. This is a Honda remote access key. So what I've been doing is going to parking lots and pressing the alarm button until I hear the car. And then I'll go in and drive away. No, I'm just kidding. FedEx! Such a good promotional movie with Castaway on that one. So this is a found. If this is yours, let me know. I'll send it to you. Otherwise, we have an invention idea. And of course we got that prototype. We, we got that prototype. OK, we got that prototype. We got that right in. We got that prototype right here, right now. Let's throw it out. All right, we got to dive in. Shabam, it's in the back. Here it is. My neighbor asked me for some smart sensors in his house. And so I was like, yeah, we can build that. So I put together this little guy. So it's a humidity and temperature sensor because he wanted his fan to turn on in his shower when the humidity got too high. So yeah, as you can see here, we got that blue thing. That's the temp and humidity all in one. We're using the Arduino Nano just because it's cheaper and uh, easy to use. And then of course we got the, the screen. So we're gonna plug this in for you, power it up with that USB portable battery. Right hell y'all. Right here, you know we got that lime fuel. I don't know why we got to act like we gotta know everything today, but alright, so we're gonna plug it into the lime fuel. As you can see, y'all. And it's gonna turn on. Oh. Not sure if you can see it. But we're gonna try to get this all online so you can make one of your own. You can buy all the parts and all that. So right now we got the temp being 77 degrees out and the humidity is 44. But honestly, that ain't no 44. That feels a little bit more. So now it says, yeah, 77, 44. We'll have to check that. Post office, post office. So anyways, that's the idea. It's simple. A little using uh, Arduino off the shelf electronics. 78, 44. Yeah, we'll see how it does, I don't know. But my real idea is a wind speed measuring device on your bike so that you can tell how much rot wind you're riding into. I think this is this would be a good little project. So let me know if you got some thoughts on that one. Look at these poles. Don't you want to climb them? Happy Friday. That's the saying. Thanks for watching. 78.8, 44, humidity. Hey, I saw